All right, in this lesson I'm going to try and solve some harder division problems by, um, by splitting a number into some smaller parts and, and sharing those out separately. So let's start with an example. Here I've got 51, which I want to share between three people, maybe 50, 51 tennis balls sharing between three people. Okay, well 51 is really hard for me to do um, because it's way off my table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into some, into some smaller amounts that I know I can share between three people. Well, I know that 51 can be shared into 30. And that's a good choice because I know that I can share 30 between three people. Now, if I share out this 30, I'm still going to have some left over. I'm going to have 21 left over. And I just need to check if I add those together, 30 plus 21, yep, that's the whole amount, the whole 51. So if I share both of these out, I'll have shared out my whole amount of tennis balls. Right, I'm going to start with this 30. Okay, 30 tennis balls shared between three people would mean each person gets 10 tennis balls. Okay, now I've shared out that 30, so now I'm going to move on to this 21 that I've still got to share out. If I share out those 21 tennis balls between three people, each person is going to get seven tennis balls. So when I shared out the first 30, each person got 10. And when I shared out the next 21 tennis balls, each person got 7. So they got 10 plus 7, which means in total they got 17 tennis balls each. Right, let's try another example. Okay, in this example I've got 92 tennis balls, which I need to share between 4 people. Now again, I want to think of a nice tidy number, which I could uh, split the 92 into, which would be easy, which I'd be uh, able to share between four people, so I'm going to choose 40. Now again, I know that's a good choice because I can share 40 into four groups really easily. Now you can see that I've still got quite a lot left, so I can easily share out another 40. So, so far in total, I've shared out 80 of the 92 that I need to share, which means I've still got a bit left. In fact, I've got 12 left. Now I just need to check that, I've sh that I am sharing out this whole amount, so 40 plus 40 is 80, plus 12, 92, yep. So if I share out all of these amounts, I will have shared out the 92. Okay, I'm going to start with this first 40 tennis balls. If I share these first 40 tennis balls between four people, um, each, pe each person will get 10. Okay, now I'm on to the next set of 40 tennis balls. If I share them before between four people, each person will get another 10. <clears throat> now I'm on to my last uh, last 12 tennis balls. Again, I'm sharing them between four people, so each person will get three. So when I shared out the first 40, they got 10. When I shared out the second 40, they got another 10. And when I shared out the last 12 tennis balls, they got three. So in total, they got 10, 20, 3, 23. Now some of you might have seen in this example that I actually could have chosen some different numbers to split that into. So let's try that same question again and uh, see if I could split it up a little bit differently and um, see, see if that makes any difference. Right, same question. 92 uh, shared between four people. I'll just go down a little bit further. Right, um, I'm going to choose to share it into 80 this time, because I know that I can share 80 easily between four people. Now, if I shared out 80, that must mean I've got 12 left, because <coughs> 80 plus 12, that equals 92. All right, I'm going to start with this first 80 here. If I share out those 80 tennis balls between four people, um, each person is going to get 20. Let's go down a bit again that. Okay, now I'm going to the 12. If I share out those 12 tennis balls before between four people, each person is going to get three. So they got 20 when I shared out the first 80. They got three when I shared out the, uh, the 12, which was the second group. So in total, they got 23. And hopefully it's no surprise that obviously this question here, where I got 23, is exactly the same answer as back up here, where I got 23. 
So you can see from this, it doesn't really matter how I share these, uh, these numbers out. As long as the numbers that I choose, you want to choose numbers which you can easily divide by these numbers here. For example, it would be no use choosing 70 here because I can't share 70 out easily between four people. I always think one of the, uh, a nice way to start is choosing a tidy number because they're, um, they're easy to share out. So hopefully this lesson's been helpful. Um, if you're wanting any more um, help with these, check out the, the Teacher Tools uh, website. There's some more um, videos, uh, PowerPoints and, uh, and books there which, which might help you out.